Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're talking about factoring quadratic expressions. Now, there's no real magic way to do this. You just sort of have to look at them and figure out what numbers will work. But the signs can really help push you in the right direction. Whenever you factor something like this, you're going to end up with two parts of the expression. And you're going to get an x in one and an x in the other, because later on when you multiply it out, that's how you get your x squared. Now, if this is a positive sign, your signs in here are both going to have to be the same. And if this is also a positive sign, they're both going to be pluses. So now we have to figure out what two numbers multiply together to be 12 and add together to be 7. Well, some of the factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So what we have is x plus 3 times x plus 4. Now, let me show you why this is right. We can multiply it out using the FOIL method. So if I multiply this out, I get x times x, which is x squared. Then I get x times 4, which is 4x. And it's a plus 4x, because we have positive signs. And then I get a plus 3 times an x, which is a plus 3x. And then we get a plus 3 times a plus 4, which is plus 12. And if we combine these two terms in the middle, we end up with exactly the expression we started with. So we know that we factored it correctly. Now, if you're not real comfortable with factoring or you're having a hard time with it, you can also find these factors by using the quadratic formula. You would just set your expression here equal to 0 and then plug the values into the quadratic formula to get your solutions. If you're not sure how to do that, follow our lesson on the quadratic formula. And that's one way to factor a quadratic expression. Thanks for learning with me today. If you have any questions on this topic or anything having to do with math, please click on the links or send us a request to requests at mahalo.com. See you later.